Hello, everyone. Welcome to another installment of WGS TV right here on YouTube.com slash WrestleGamer and FX TV. Along with the panel of Lance Moss and uh, the James from the Big Easy, I'm the WrestleGamer, Double V, Billy Boudreaux. We're going to be taking a look at old school Monday Night Raw. Uh, one of the big things that people are really talking about at this point in time is what happened at the end of last week's Monday Night Raw with Daniel Bryan effectively joining the Wyatt family. And then just recently as yesterday on the uh, Facebook page, I even posted it myself on the WGS TV Facebook page, the new look for Daniel Bryan. And one's got to wonder, Lance, is where are they going to go from here when it pertains to Daniel Bryan and the Wyatt family, what do you think we might see some, um, out of them tonight? The, them boasting, oh, it, I would say them, more like Bray Wyatt boasting, oh, we finally turned, we finally, our brother Daniel Bryan has finally came to the dark side or whatever, yada, yada, yada. He knows Sister Hazel Abigail. All that stuff. I see that happening tonight. James, It'd be funny if IRS tried to stop it. <laughs> uh, James, let me ask you this question. XTC69 put on the Raw review last week that he firmly believes that Daniel Bryan did not turn heel. He feels that with Daniel Bryan joining the Wyatt family, that the Wyatt family is turning face. Do you do you agree with that kind of sentiment from XTC69? As James is currently enjoying a good bowl of soup. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that, guys. Um, um, James. Uh, well, um, well. Uh, anyway, um, let me kind of echo the sentiments a little bit. I really don't think. The uh, the Wyatt family is turned face. Um, I, me, you know, it's really hard to say where they're going to go from here when it pertains to that gimmick. But another thing we need to talk about, especially for tonight's Monday Night Raw, is the fact that again on Raw New Year last week, Stephanie McMahon announced Randy Orton versus John Cena for the WWE World Heavyweight Title at the Royal Rumble. Now, a lot of fans out there, Lance, really, uh, especially on the WGS TV Facebook page, really expressed negative reactions to the angle that, of course, once again, we're going to have John Cena and Randy Orton in the main event at the Royal Rumble. Um, what would WWE have to do to kind of maybe spice up the match a little bit? Like something, you know, what could we see out of that tonight? Uh, it definitely needs a stipulation because I know you're a big John Cena fan, but God Almighty, this—if it's just a one-on-one, -on -one, it's like this is a recording. We've seen this match a thousand damn times. It needs stipulation, and there needs to be heat between these two guys, definitely, or, or else it's just getting stale. James, what old bread. James, what about you? What are your thoughts about the uh, the thing with Randy Orton and John Cena? What can WWE do to no, not make what people say? I don't on agree them? because I believe Daniel Bryan is joining them because he has a plan to try to destroy them from the inside. All right, well, James is uh, apparently having a little bit of a, a lagging issue. Yes, I am. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about Cena and, Cena and Norton. Yeah, um, we do apologize for that one. Uh, and we lost gentlemen. James. Yeah, we did lose James. We do apologize uh, for that one, ladies and gentlemen. But, again, the topic's still at hand. You know, what can WWE do to really spice up the Randy Orton, John Cena angle for Royal Rumble. If anything, they need to start doing something tonight. But um, also the, um, on Old School Monday Night Raw, I mean, think about the legends that have been booked for this show tonight, especially Ric Flair, 
Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, um, IRS, and who knows who else we're going to be seeing there on Monday Night Raw tonight. You know, I got to say, I really, really am looking forward to this. You know, there are a lot of people who are not looking forward to us, but another thing that I'm really going to look forward to tonight, Lance, CM Punk, Roman Reigns. If CM Punk and Seth Rollins kick butt last week, just imagine what Punk and Reigns are going to do tonight. Yeah, that is probably going to be amazing. I got a question. Do you think we'll see the, some of the first uh, Royal Rumble announcements? If like people start to announce, announce that they're going to come, that they're going in. It would be right right within the time frame for WWE to start making announcements for people to be joining the Royal Rumble. Um, another thing, guys, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to start uh, putting together a review series of Royal uh, past Royal Rumbles, you know. And um, again, we're being joined once again by this? James. Hopefully, hopefully, his internet connection is uh, just a tad bit. No, 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 no. It's, it's 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 called not uh, using my mobile phone instead of the computer, so I'm now officially on a computer now. All right, that, that is cool. Um, well, uh, Lance was asking the question. You know, should, uh, do you feel that we're going to start seeing uh, uh, announcements made for people joining uh, the Royal Rumble? And I said I kind of felt like this right within the, the time frame for WWE to start making those announcements. James, what do you think? Uh, that's what it is basically need to be is that they need to make the announcements for these people that come in. But it's like you need to keep some surprises though for yeah. the Royal Rumble. So don't announce like all the names, just put like some in. Well, again, guys and gals, it's definitely going to be a treat to see the uh, all the old legends. Uh, I know there are a lot of fans out there who really don't want to see the legends on Monday Night Raw. I can't imagine why you wouldn't want to see some of the greats like Bob Backlund there, uh, Ted DiBiase, the guy who was like ultra mega heel. But if you watch the Mid-South Legends uh, DVD like I have, you realize that he um, uh, ran a face gimmick and a heel gimmick over there. So that I did not know. But, uh, again, you know, we've got all the great legends coming back. You know, you know, you have to be a classic wrestling enthusiast like myself and Lance and James to really understand, you know, the, the, the significance of seeing all the old legends. You know, you have to appreciate the legends in order to appreciate what wrestling is today. And I really hope that uh, when fans take home what, what we see tonight on Old School Monday Night Raw, I really hope they take home the fact, you know, that these legends paved the way for what superstars are today. You know, so, I'm, you know, it's just something I wanted to say because I've seen it all over on Facebook. You know, people whining, bitching, pissing, and moaning. Oh, the legends, you know, we don't need to see all these old guys again. Without these old guys, you wouldn't have guys like Cena, CM Punk, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose. You wouldn't have those guys if it weren't for the legends. But then again, that, that's just my uh, my uh, my opinion. Uh, final thoughts for old school Monday Night Raw t- uh, coming up tonight, starting with Lance. Should be one uh, really interesting show, or it's going to bomb. Well, it's, I see it going being really good or a crap fest. I don't see it being in the middle. And uh, James, what about you? Final thoughts on old school Monday Night Raw tonight. What basically Lance say is it gotta be crap and is it or is it gonna be good? Because remember, if they are basically facing the BCS National Championship game, which is the college football championship game, um, they need to hype up Cena, Orton, and uh, we just need to see what happened with Dan Bryan. That's all I'm to say. Yep. So again, guys, our, our points of interest were once again Daniel Bryan and the Wyatt family, Randy Orton and John Cena, the legends showing up. And, of course, will WWE start announcing Royal Rumble entrance on tonight's Monday Night Raw? Those are our key points of interest. I hope you guys follow along. Also, don't forget to follow along on the Facebook page for WGSTV, Facebook.com slash WGSTV, where you guys can also live chat with uh, with me, Lance, James, and whoever else is there for Monday Night Raw tonight. So be sure you guys check that out as well. Lance, what can fans expect to see when they come visit your channel over on YouTube.com slash Lance Moss TV? 
Q and A's, which I'm trying to get a, a huge one together. I just need people to send in their questions uh, on my channel. Uh, there's the restaurant review, a little bit of restaurant review, NASCAR reviews, Q, uh, I just said Q and A's, but album reviews, cooking videos, and whatever else pops into my head. All right, and uh, James, I know that I, for the longest time I've already asked you about what's going on with uh, the guys over on Vaughn Live and, and whatnot. But um, are you up, are you up to anything right now? You want to make a quick announcement on? There is a quick announcement, but I can't. We can't. Uh, we're not finalizing anything yet. But we have found a new site for me, myself, and Will in the Bay Area MVP. We will have a new site, uh, there's a new site up, and we're still testing it out in the water. So, if anything, we will give you the link for the new site when it's available. But right now, we can't, uh, there's nothing right now. Just follow us on the uh, Facebook page. That's all. All right, guys and gals, also don't forget to like the Facebook page for WGSTV, Facebook.com slash WGSTV, and don't forget to please subscribe to YouTube.com slash Gamer and YouTube.com slash ZFXTV Network. So, for the incomparable Lance Moss and James, who needs a better internet connection for his phone from the Big Easy, I'm the Russell Gamer, Double P on the Boudreaux, saying thank you very much for watching. Hey, if you use Ubu, do not use the iPhone app. It sucks because it gives you fucking lag. That's all I'm going to say.